Hello, welcome to part 11 of my beginner's guide to Civilization 5. Um, let's just carry on playing basically, and see how it goes. Some one of my cities has been nicked by another religion, well, we'll sort that out over time. It's better for me if they're all in my religion as far as I can make out. But, um, production, yes. Happiness, defense, well, why not? Right. Money, yes, I don't have much of a surplus. I need some money things. This is a newish place, it needs basics. Great engineer. Let's send him out here and uh, develop this this land. Yeah. Anti-aircraft gun. Okay. This war is still going on between those, the Americans and the uh, Songhai, or whatever they are. It's interesting that the Americans are not building bombers. I don't have any anyway, maybe they're building them now, I suppose. Just take a while. It's good to watch because I can kind of see how to defend against them. Clearly I need anti-aircraft and things of that sort. Build a manufactory and improve that tile, make more dosh. Um, promoted. Ooh. You're really supposed to be exploring and not messing about with barbarians, you know. Choose host. Well, I guess it better be me. I probably won't win that vote because there's a couple of others with 16 delegates. Or one with 16 and three with 14. Um, yes.
Oh, I'm supposed to click the next turn button, but I was thinking it might be useful to give these guys some anti-aircraft guns or something because this city is getting damaged. I don't know if I can give them any. Don't even know if I have uh, open borders with them. Doesn't look like it, except embassy. Come on, goodness sake. See what else we have? Open borders? You probably won't go for it, will you? Hmm. Well, maybe in a while. Yes, let us work together. We can be friends. Um, yes, it's all right. Get over it. Huh? Ooh, that city might fall. If they can get some land units in range and take it. Yes, they've got it. Sweden became the host, okay. Because it has 16 delegates. I would have to persuade somebody else to, to vote for me to be sure of winning that sort of thing. If I was intent on a diplomatic victory, I'd be doing that sort of thing. Um, putting diplomats in their capitals and trading for votes. I'll give you some spices if you'll vote for me and so on. Yes, let us work together. <clears throat> they have some bombers now, the Americans. And some little fighters.
Yeah, get over it. Now is this too close to the Americans? Will it annoy them like crazy? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think it's safe. New York. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It might have annoy these people, but I haven't made any promises to them as far as I can remember. Catch up with this. Get over it, Genghis. <clears throat> doing here 17 to Boston in terms of cash Carl's bad Carl of Ivari oh I suppose um, oops that's it yeah that is the best place where is it, where is it now there Boston. The thing about autocracy is I get happiness for things which also improve my defences. It's not just... I don't just have to build a zoo. I can do it like that. So there's some benefit. Borders. I, I do want to keep my military strong, I think. Um, he has iron and oil in exchange for spices. Hmm. 
Well, he doesn't have anything else much, really. Strategic resources, that is. Mm, okay. Which luxuries do I have? I don't have gold. I could maybe have traded with him for gold. Whales, silver gems, marble spices, silk, sugar, incense, jewellery, and salt. Oh, they've got the Apollo program. Oh, what rotters. the Apollo program I've discovered all the uh... oh no I don't have satellites yet you could you could when you do that you can obviously see the whole world so you discover them all all the wonders Yes, okay. Maybe I should be gifting them some units, I don't know. Assuming they can afford to pay them, pay for them. Just to slow the Americans down. I'll just build myself some SAM, at least. Surface to air missiles. Just a few. See if I can improve diplomatic relations with these guys. He does not want open borders. I might have to trade with him for stuff. What do you want for that? Ooh. Yes, of course you do. You want everything, don't you, basically? Is there some other way to do this? 
So I don't think I can give him units without being able to enter his territory. that but just to see no he basically doesn't want what will you give me for the gold nothing All right. in other words you, you can't help some people No good. Maybe over time diplomatic relations will improve. We shall see. Discuss anything? Mm, nothing there really, is there? Goodbye. Another city by Celeste. Yes, open borders is fine. The Americans are uh, going a long way. How's the old military looking compared with them? Number two against the Americans, about not far off behind them, really. Great engineer over there who could improve the production in certain places. It's, well, I already had one improved over here, didn't I? Somewhere. Let's, let's improve some more. It's on the border with America, so it's a little bit risky. I would have to make sure I do defend it well. Oh ho ho ho! And here, yeah, rocket artillery. That's great. given to me by Vilkas. All right, grow.
The unhappiness from conquering all these cities must be quite high in America by now. Or maybe it's not such a strong effect when you're an autocrat. table gets me extra production in one turn, might as well. Let's get some money going. Prove that stone before I can build it. But okay, well. Troops. I've been given paratroopers, blimey. Well, um, well, they can settle here, can't they? Why don't I just power drop them there, right? Whoosh. There we go. <laughs> Alright, and settle. social policy, let's go to an, I an ideology. I can't do a second or third level until I've got at least another first, so... Wounded military units inflict 25% more damage than normal. Militaristic city-states grant units twice as often when you're at war with a common foe. Plus 250 tourism with all known civs when a great writer, artist or musician is born. Spy steel, steel technology at twice the normal rate. Extra happiness from every national wonder. I'm suspecting this is going to be a warlike end of the game, so I'm going to go for my 
protecting my forces and, and see how that goes. Open borders yet, or what? All right, you're going to die. Your problem. Certainly, accept open borders. Trade routes has been plundered by the Washingtonites. Well, I'm trading with their enemy at the moment. Been given another new unit. This is why I'm going in the negative in the red here, because the, the maintenance costs of modern units are very high. More paratroopers, fantastic actually. Um, let's just pop them somewhere sort of useful. Not too close to the war zone. Can I do that? Is that too far? Maybe it is. Oh, I see. Well, drop them here then. And move them later or something.
Another city's about to bite the dust. His capital. My spy fled. Where has he gone? Have to reassign him somewhere. ship. Let's just do a bit of trade. I should build another such gadget. I have a, a trade route free. 27, 26, 22, 30. Ooh. Looks like I should keep that. 30, yes. Another cargo ship. Well, let's start at the top here. 27, 26, 27, 19, 24, 27 to Singapore, even. going before. None of these places. Probably to Gao or somewhere. Okay. No trade to there then. Why not? Seventeen. A trade with those Americans then. I don't want to repeal that now because I'm an autocrat now. Historical landmarks. This is going to happen anyway, but I'll stick my votes there. Go. I'm going to be losing units now. Due to making a loss. I could gain influence with some city-states by dropping off my old units to them as gifts. And it saves me the maintenance costs on the old units while I keep the new ones that they're giving me. It's a bit of a hassle though, but it's one way around it. Oh, 
autocracy was repealed. Goodness me. Much to my surprise. I've got to figure out what to do with him as well. See if there's some city-states that could benefit me. Bogota. I need 31 to surpass them. I need 6 to surpass them. Plaza. Religious. They're an ally of the Americans, though. I need probably to defend myself against them. Potentially, anyway. Oh. I won't gain much. I won't become their ally, that's for sure. But... doesn't really matter who I give units to, as long as I get rid of them, really. And not to my American friends, I suppose. Let's just get, get rid of a few, right? Not that unit, for sure. kind of trying to reduce my maintenance cost a bit, basically. Well, I could at least try and give it to one that's potentially going to... You only get five influence for giving units, though it's not very good. Something went wrong there. Give a gift. Gift a unit. That one. Yep. Now let's see where are there some more. Where are there some real primitive units? Are not that all that primitive, really. Most of my units are upgraded. There's a lancer there, I can give him to somebody. Down to t minus 20. Singapore, because I'm giving away cheaper units, it probably doesn't, there's no good clicking on the, the icon, you've got to click on that in the hex. They're worth 10, so if I can get rid of another one, I'll be at least be breaking even. No, I'll probably have to get rid of some cavalry or something then. There's a lancer there. Alright.
No, answer. Must be this hex, right? Yes. Oh, we'll just give the rifle man whatever, right? Dush. That'll do for the moment. Let's see where we are now then. Why does this unit need orders? Let's send him here. <clears throat> and where shall I send him? I think I'll send him to Washington. But autocracy not being the world, what's it, will reduce the American happiness somewhat, I think. The world ideology. Um, or will it? I think you get a, you get a penalty if, it, if you've got the wrong ideology. I don't think you get a bonus if you haven't have the right one. I'm not totally sure. Hmm. I've researched satellites, hooray! Information era, hooray! Go away, right. America is content. All we autocrats are content. Along with Korea. With freedom. Syria is having a bit of trouble. Ah yes, no need to explore anymore because I've discovered everywhere. Is he exploring under the ice? Is he able to do that? Yes. Wow. That's pretty cool. We can come back and defend my shoreline or something. Let's just kill a barbarian, shall we? Am I able to do that? Doesn't look like it. Maybe they've already fought. Um, stay there. You're unnecessary. Save myself some money. Delete, delete, delete. We might as well just sink some barbarians or something. I could bring him back to base and promote him potentially, I suppose. What's happening? Hmm. Well, well, Sam.
Oh, who should have done that spy? Ooh. I'm heading for a science victory, so I should be building schools and stuff. Really, I'm trying for it anyway. Ecology, solar plant, Sydney Opera House, recycling centre, which gives me more aluminum, which I'll probably need. For those that, for those units, indeed. And I've recruited somebody else now. Now, what do, I, what do I want to do with him? Mercantile, maybe. Keep get the money flowing or the happiness flowing. I need a hundred and seventy six to get each of these guys. It's not mercantile, I know, but. Hmm. Trying to become. I can do best here. Bogota. Okay. I have a long border with the Americans, difficult to defend should they decide to attack. Mm. Why can't I attack? Well, never mind, just head for the for the coast somewhere around my coast here. It's not behaving very well, is it?
Oop, another city goes, I think. Once the defences are down, that's, that's usually it. Who are these dark blue guys? Babylon. Hmm, okay. sheep or I do have some horses there so I gain slight production from that is nearly up so when it gives the control back to me I guess I'll have to save the game goodbye cookie pretty sure of that and this city is not far behind And he has a lot of powerful units, and I have no money to upgrade mine. Hmm. I'll have to start building wealth in my cities to give myself some reserves of cash, I think. Well, 19 is the best, which was the previous route. There it is, Washington. Myself a bit of a reserve for a few turns. Small cities probably need to develop, but actually that's not so crucial here. Oops, I went on for the next turn already. Just one more turn. It's addictive, this game. Look at that. Both cities gone. Are there any left for Songhai? so actually he's gone totally am I ink and submarine actually am I actually able to do some sort of attack with him I am here. Whoa. They're probably wondering, what was that? <laughs> oh, a cargo ship. Well, it's an hour and a bit now, so time, in fact, to save the game. 
over the number nine this time. So 283 turns, and that was 299. So this is the oldest one. Save. And that's it for now. See you in part 12. Bye.